It might not look much from the outside, but inside this former perfume warehouse in West London is where Boris Johnson meets his ministers. And it's where Priti Patel, Joe Biden and Dominic Cummings rub latex shoulders with Bill Gates, Elton John and Greta Thunberg. This is the home of the satirical puppet show Spitting Image. I hope you like purple nurples, Biden. They forgot to put in a clip of me. What's the time scale from Roger deciding this new person who's appeared in the public eye, we definitely need a puppet of, to you getting it and then it then being on the set? So it varies. Right. So we have a banking period where we know we've got established celebrities and politicians. Roger commissions the caricatures and those are then signed off by the top production staff. We then put that out to a sculptor and the sculpts are then moulded, cord, which creates a void for the hand to go up into the puppet. It's injected into the mould, baked on a very low heat, you know, comes to us within a, a couple of a couple of days and we then sort the fitting up, the making up, the skull going in, it's painted, it's wigged up by the wonderful Darlene and it's on set and that's how the rotation works. His head isn't throbbing evenly, so we, it, it's working perfectly well that side, but uh, nothing seems to be happening that side. Uh, this fellow, the coronavirus, he'll be up soonish. He sometimes has these sorts of eyes. They just have a more sort of otherworldly look to them. With a, a lot of things, it would be Roger Law's brief to the caricaturists. He would have an idea as to the way he perceives a particular character. So a lot of the out there kind of ideas who really all come from Russia. Hey everyone, I'm doing tremendous. And so is my pal Caroni here. Yeah, actually, I don't feel so good. I think I might have caught a case of you. <laughs> There's been lots of speculation recently about your, your cabinet. Are you going to carry out a reshuffle, maybe move some people out, bring some new people in? Yes, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to well, I got rid of one of the last remainers in there, Matt Hancock, uh, so I need to get rid of Vichy uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, one, he's uh, pretty talented. Uh, secondly, of course, he's a remainer. And thirdly, the bastard is after my job. And I'm going to bring in someone who would pose no threat to me at all. Uh, someone of such limited intellect that they will never pose a threat to my position. So, Matt, surely it is an honour to promote you to the cabinet where you will be safely ensconced uh, and I will be safely uh, Prime Minister forever. <laughs> <laughs> so Matt Ford, you're now out of the innards of Boris Johnson. It's amazing this being on the set. How many voices are you doing on this series? Uh, so I do uh, Boris Johnson, Keir Starmer, Donald Trump. I mean Keir Starmer was the one that I had to slightly knock up at short notice and in fact it was only watching him I interviewed him the other month and I noticed that the puppeteers had noticed something that I think no one else does, that he does this sort of double hand chop when he talks a lot. I agree with the government, well, they get it right. I disagree with them, well, they get it wrong. They had this sort of thing and I was like, I, these guys noticed it like a year before everyone else. Gangs of hoodlums, people petrified in their own homes, the country's falling apart and Aaron. If only and now when you're doing the voice, even though you're just oh, recording the voice, are you yeah. doing the action? Oh, absolutely, sat at home in my underpants, just like... <laughs> Yeah, because we do it all in our spare rooms. So it's kind of weird, you know, I just record it into my laptop. When you're watching, you're, you're realising subconsciously all the work that's got you, all this information you're taking in, the portrait of Margaret Thatcher, the hair, the eye, all that. And like you said, all that effort, probably to do a knob joke. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> it's great seeing it on telly, but when you actually come in and see it in the flesh, particularly the puppets, and you look into their eyes, you realise what incredible work, like the sculptors and the um, people who draw the caricatures, the work that the puppeteers do. So many things obviously make it, but when you come and see it made like this, the sort of grand scale of it, all this basically for a silly joke, that's part of the magic of the show. 